Hey, so today we're going to be doing a 15 minute chair and standing yoga practice. So you really only need a chair, but i am also got a yoga mat underneath just to give me a little bit more grip when we're doing the standing yoga part. So once you're ready, you can come to sit comfortably um, in your chair, letting the head and shoulders be above your hips, softly closing uh, through your eyes. And then you can start to slowly open the eyes again. So staying a little bit forward towards the front of the seat, you're going to reach the arms up on the inhale. Again, it could be a little bend if you need it. And then on the exhale, hands are going to drop down to the chest. You're just arching a little back. Inhale, come through the center, reach up through the arms. And exhale, hands come to the thighs and you can lean forward. We'll do this a few times. So come back through the center, reach the arms up. On the inhale, exhale, hands come to the belly as you start to lean a little bit back. Inhale, coming back through the middle arms, reach high. And exhale, hands come to the thighs and you can lean a little forward. We'll do this a couple more times. So inhale, arms come high, belly stays firm. Exhale, hands slide down, lifting chest a little up and back. Inhale, come back through the center. And exhale, hands come to rest down on the thighs as you lean a little forward. Do this one more time. So inhale, reaching up through the arms. Exhale, hands come down as you gaze a little up. Inhaling, coming back through the middle. And exhale, hands to the thighs can lean a little forward and you can either stay here or walk the hands a little down the legs and maybe fold a little further forward with your torso. So you can see how it feels here to relax the head completely. If you're a little bit more upright, you could also kind of make a small pillow with the hands so forehead is resting on something or just simply having your gaze looking softly down here. From here, you can slowly come up, so using the help of the hands. And from here, we're going to come up to standing. So from here, we're going to come either with the feet about hip distance apart or feet a little closer. And we're going to be alternating between our chair pose and our forward fold. So weight is coming back in the hips. We're going to bend through the knees draw the hips down and back. Arms are coming forward and arms can be either shoulder distance or you could have the arms a little up, so that's your choice. Now on the exhale, we're gonna fold forward. We're gonna keep a little bend through the knee. You could either come kind of halfway or you could see how it feels to fold a little further forward. And then inhale again, sit low with the hips. Arms come up and exhaling. Arms sliding down as you fold. Inhaling, weight is in the heels. And exhale, maybe lean a little to your toes. Think this a couple more times. So inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Inhale, this time we're going to pause here, so see if you can keep legs nice and firm. If it's difficult to breathe, you could be a little higher. If you're feeling quite comfortable, you might see how it feels to sink the hips a little bit more down, keeping still the belly nice and firm. And then exhale, we'll start to fold. And again, you can keep that little bend through the knees, relaxing the head. Relaxing through the shoulders, leaning a little maybe to your toes. 
And then slowly from here, we're going to come all the way gently back up. And then you can just shake the feet and shake through the arms. So we're going to come one more set of standing poses. So a bit like we did um, before, we're having the feet a little wider and we're turning our right foot out. Now, if you like, you might make the step a little longer if that feels comfortable through your hips. We're going to bend into our right knee, right hand slides down and left arm comes up on your inhale. Exhale, keep the legs where they are, just drawing left arm towards the left leg, right arm up, and then come through the centre, sliding a little forward to your right leg, inhale through the centre, and exhale to come back. Do this a couple more times. Seeing if you can keep that right knee deeply bent throughout. And then the next time we come into the pose, we'll pause here. So if you do want to make your stance a little wider, <laughs> you can. So you can slide the feet a little wider if you like here. Then right arm comes down, left arm comes up. And we're pausing here, keeping both legs active, both feet heavy. You can stay here two more breaths, keeping the chin a little tucked, back of the neck nice and long. And then inhaling, coming back up. This time left arm comes down, Right arm lifts, so you're kind of creating that space through the right side here. Still keeping left foot heavy, right foot heavy. Staying here, one more breath. And then slowly inhaling, coming back up, releasing. And we're going to come straight over to the opposite side. So left foot. Spins open to the side. Again, if you want to adjust the feet, you could here. We're bending into our left knee, arms coming out, and then come into our side angle. So left arm drops down, right arm lifts up. Inhaling, coming through the centre, and exhale, reverse warrior. Inhale. And exhale, inhale, and exhale. Do the same couple more times. If you're moving slightly different uh, speed to me, absolutely fine. And then the next time that we sink down to the left side, we're going to pause here. So your left elbow is dropping down, but we're lifting up out through the shoulder, up out through the right arm. So there's this real creation of space here. Staying here, two more breaths. And then inhaling from here, coming back through the center, Exhale to the opposite side, so left knee stays bent. We're coming to our reverse now. So really we're creating that space through the left side of the torso. Staying here, one more breath. Inhale, then come back through the middle. Exhale, release. You can walk the feet together. And then from here, shaking the legs. Coming back to sitting. So once you're sitting, we're going to gently bring our right knee a little up. And with the help of the right hand, open the knee out to the side. And then inhale, bringing the knee back 
to the middle again. We'll do this a few times, so opening the knee out to the side. Inhale, center. So we're just kind of working a little the rotation here of the hip. And then the next time you bring your right knee out, you can pause here. You could keep the um, right hand here. We could bring the arms out to the side, so maybe just using um, really this sort of hip flexor and that right knee to lift up. And then slowly from here, you can come back through the center release. And we'll do the same on the opposite side. So right foot is heavy. Inhale from here, lift up through the left knee. You can use the help of that left hand. Exhale, open the knee out. And then inhaling back to the middle. Exhale and inhale. Exhale and inhale. Doing this a couple more times. And then the next time you bring the leg out, you can pause here. Really see if you can keep lengthening up out through the lower back and up through the crown of the head. And then coming slowly back to the centre, releasing the legs and just resting hands on the thighs and closing through the eyes. So from here, we're going to walk both feet a little wider out to the side. You might choose to sit a little back in the chair. Toes can be spinning a little out. Knees are a little out here. Now hands are going to come to the hips. We're going to slowly come forward, come round, and then just making a few slow circles from the hips. Hips might lift a little as you start to make that circle a little round. Use the exhale to drop down, inhaling to come up, and then just doing a few circles the opposite way. Then from here, you could slowly start to fold forward. So you might just fold a little, the hands on the ground. If this feels too intense, by the way, you could have the hands on the thighs and just lean a little bit forward. Gazing softly down here. And then slowly bringing the hands back on the thighs if they were on the ground. Gently coming up and bringing the feet back in towards each other. So from here, we're going to bring the hands behind the back. You can interlace the fingers behind the back if that's comfortable. And um, if it doesn't feel comfortable, you could hold the outsides of the chair instead. And then feet can be about hip distance or a little wider. We're folding gently forward over the legs, and we're reaching the arms up and over the head here. Head can be relaxing, a little heavy here. You can see how it feels maybe to actively reach the arms a little up and a little back. And again, if this feels quite strong, you could try hands holding the outside just the palms facing up so that can feel not quite nice to be gently opening through the shoulders. Staying here one more breath and then slowly using that inhale to come back up and exhaling to release. So you can from here just take a moment to softly close the eyes Relaxing the face, relaxing through your jaw, taking a few slow and steady breaths. And 
And then you can be starting to open the eyes once more, coming back again to your surroundings. So thanks for joining me through this uh, chair and standing yoga practice. Um, yeah, feel free to share um, your experiences with our entire yoga community in the comments. And if you are wanting to be a little bit more consistent with your home yoga practice, you can check out um, a link for a yoga at home guide. It's a free resource and you can find that link in the description of this video. Thanks a lot and I'll see you next time. Bye.